Kind of sounds like bingo. A78, please. A78. <laughs> Already cracking myself up this morning. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review and tutorial on the Cue the Cueva. Mm. Okay, today I am doing a review on the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Kit, or as I just mispronounced, the Zoco Cueva. Yeah, it's a little crazy this morning. Not enough coffee. Not enough coffee. Got it late. Anyhow, want to give you guys an update. So I bought this kit around Christmas. It was in on sale, so I love me some sales. Love me some sales. And I have been impressed trying other Zoeva products. I've used their eyeshadow palettes before and loved them. And now this has given me an opportunity to try their highlighters. This is in uh, Mastery of Chocolate, which I wore today. And then we have the Desert. So these two highlighters are absolutely stunning. Whether you want something light or something toned down a little bit more, or you could actually overlap them and get kind of a little bit of a muted, peachy, kind of corally in the middle. Love, love, love their highlighters. They're tiny, so you can, the packaging is tiny, not the pan size, so you can take them with you because they're nice and sleek. The lip is a matte lip. I normally wouldn't pick this color for myself. I'm not, I don't gravitate towards rosy colors, but the lip liner does great, but so does the lip. It doesn't have a smell like some of the other ones where it smells like cake. It just, it's just there. The doe foot applicator helps put it on and get in all the right spots, so I love that also. Now let's talk about this little cocoa blend goodness. The colors, I've done three different eye looks. The colors here are just phenomenal. They they go on so pretty. They, you really, the, what I love most about these is that you really don't have to do a lot of blending. They kind of automatically, as you're um, moving them together, just do a great job on their own. This lilac color here ended up being a stunner. I was not prepared for how beautiful that one was. And so that eye look, I really, really enjoyed the other day. Um, I can see myself picking up delicate acidity a lot more because it's just a stunning color. Now let's talk about the color on the colors on the top row. So I started out today with Bitter Start. I did not use Sweeter End or Warm Notes, but I did pick up Subtle Blend today and really, really enjoyed those. I made a hot mess. Hold on a second here. So those colors are absolutely stunning. I love how this one picks up the light. Actually, all of these pick up the light, but you can, that red or uh, magenta color really is just stunning. Then the last color in this palette is called Beans Are White. Really enjoyed this one and this one together. Oh my gosh, it just made a beautiful color. So yeah, these swatches, um, I hope give you kind of a, an idea of what's going on with this palette because it's, it's creamy. The palette blends so, so well together. The colors work so well together. Whoever picked these out did a great job because you get multiple looks in this one palette, which makes it, again, nice for traveling and a nice, sleek cardboard um, container. I would highly recommend Zoeva products just because of how easy they are to put on. I think I tapped one of the dark colors before I put them on just to make sure that I wasn't going to get any fallout in case there was fallout on the dark one. So other than that, I mean, you don't even really have to tap your brush as you're using these. Absolutely love that. Love, love, love. And again, they blend well without getting muddy. So to me, that's fully worth um, the, the price of the Zoeva. And they're really not priced out of market. They do come from out of state, out of the states, and I got them in a relatively quick time, even though I had my address wrong. Mm -hmm. So even though I had my address wrong, they still found me. Love, love, love it. So I can't say enough nice things about this Zoeva 
cocoa blend kit. I hope you guys are able to go on Zoeva's website and, and look at some of their other products. I think the next time they have a sale, I'll definitely be picking up some more of their palettes because they are that good. Anyways, I hope this helps you with your buying power. Um, now that you've heard the review, let's stay for the tutorial and see what we got going on. Have a great day. Okay, today we're going to start with the Cocoa Blend set from Zoeva. And it's got a lippy, it's got a highlighter, and of course it's got the eye palette. We're going to start today with the lip liner. This It's a waterproof lip liner. This is made in the Czech Republic. And do we have a color? Do we have a color? A78. Kind of sounds like bingo. A78, please. A78. 78. Okay, this is a really nice mauve tone. Not really a smell to them. Goes on creamy. Has a normal doe foot applicator. And this is really a pretty matte color. Kind of rosy. And I just, I have enjoyed it. Wasn't necessarily a color I would pick out myself. But now that I have it, I like it. That's why I like buying these kits. Or buying subscriptions because they make me try things I would never okay, normally try myself. Different. Highlighters here we have the Desert and Mastery of Chocolate and I think I want to go with Mastery of Chocolate today. And that has got a really rosy color. Now I did put this on top of the blush Dallas from Benefit. So it's just kind of blending in really nice, but giving a nice highlighted look. Ooh. Ooh. Now, today we are going to use a Zoeva palette. I'm just winging it, folks. I'm just winging it. We're going to start out with Bitter Start all over the eyelid. I'm hoping this Bitter Start, with it being white, is just going to give it a great Next, base. I'm going to pick up Substitution for Love. Now, I like white chocolate. That could be a substitution for love. Nah. Maybe if you own a cat. We're going to pick up Freshly Toasted. Kind of darken that crease up. You know, I haven't had to tap these brushes. Mm-hmm. Coffee! Coffee! Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nothing like having a hubs to bring you coffee in the morning. I got the best hubs ever. I think it's mostly he doesn't want the coffee that I can make which is safer for both of us, but I'll take it anyways. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with the Pure Ganache. It's a peachy color. I don't know why I picked up such a big brush, geez. Just for about the inner quarter, we're gonna pick up Subtle Blend. Transition nice next to each other. Now we're gonna pick up the color Infusion, which has a little bit of gold flex, and I like that. I did tap my brush on that one. I'm not necessarily picking up the gold flakes in once I get it on my eye. These are blending really nice. And I haven't had to blend much. And I like not having to blend much. Especially on days like today. Alright, we're going to use the Inglot eyeliner. Taking the Luxie Mini Round 141 brush. I'm going to go ahead and pick back up the color Infusion. I think I want to take the color Pure Ganache and go right underneath. Just for a little added fun. Who doesn't need added fun? Okay, I'm going to do my hair and false eyelashes off camera and we'll go from there. All right, it's the end of a 14-hour workday. Um, a little crazy, a little crazy. Trying to get reviews done and underwrite and interview and everything else that I get to do. And it was a crazy day. So, long story short, how did the cover girl outlast active work? I think it might make it to 24 hours. Holy mackerel, y'all. Like, this is, this is the bomb. I mean, I did have to use a bit to build it up, um, but I really like this. So, 
I've got kind of a new stand. If you guys saw it, it's not really a stand. So bear with me as I zoom in. Okay, so we are up close and personal. Check this out. I, my nose is intact. Now you can see the oils pulling through, but after 14 hours, why wouldn't you see oils pulling through? Even my chin, I mean my chin on the lower side, not fabulous, but if I hold my face straight, it looks fine. My forehead, yes, is greasy, but again, looks fine. So if I had the chance to kind of This camera is crazy. I hate this camera. All right, I'm gonna zoom out and keep going. I don't know, this camera is just, it sucks. It sucks. I need to invest in a new one. Anyways. I am 105 billion percent, because that makes a whole lot of sense, totally thrilled with how this foundation performed. The fact that I have my nose, I mean a little bit, I've lost a little bit right here. It does look like after 14 hours it's lifted because of the oils on my face, but oh my goodness. I love the fact that if I, you know, blotted and pulled off the oil, it would have lasted this long and looked even better. So the fact that I haven't touched up, I didn't apply more powder, I didn't blot, really shows what a success this CoverGirl <laughs> Outlast Active is. I'm going to keep using this. This is fantastic. Actually, I did... Um, forget to film last night when I had come home another long day. I even had tears of joy. Some more good things happening with my grandma. That's a whole nother, uh, her recuperation. That's a whole nother story. Maybe one day. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I had tears and I went in and started washing off my face and I had noticed that the makeup had really done well. And I thought, oh my God, I didn't film, but I filmed tonight and still have amazing results. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. This is, this is fantastic.